Hey guys, very good morning, very good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the topic how to move the mount path. Uh, let's say guys, you have a media agent. Okay, now uh, this media agent. Just give me a minute. Okay, let's say you have a media agent. Okay, now this media agent. Okay will having a multiple disk now if i talk about the this that you are going to procure there will be one disk that you required for the os there is one dedicated disk that you required for your ddb on your media agent and then there is one dedicated disk that you required for the index now apart from that you will be requiring a disk where you can keep your backups okay now let's say there is an external storage device that you have let's say there is an external storage device okay might be it's a sand based storage might be a uh, uh, you know it's a nas whatever it is we're gonna focus on the sand based storage device it's a sand storage device now on this particular sand storage device you have a multiple volumes created you have multiple volumes created now let's say these two volumes that you have on this particular sand device this is your sand storage that you have now you have a multiple, uh, as I said, volumes created on that particular sand storage and you have mapped those particular disks on your media agent. Now let's say on the media agent, they appear as a H drive and they appear as a G drive. Okay. You have configured these H drive and G drive uh, uh, as, a, as a disk library, how to configure the disk library. There is another video for that, that you can refer. So there is a disk library that has been created. Now what happened is, there is a planning in your backup infrastructure where you are planning to decommission this particular sandbox okay the sand storage you are planning to decommission this particular sandbox and instead of that there is a new sand that you have purchased okay and on that let's say there is a volume that you have created two volumes let's say and you want to move the data of this H drive and G drive to these particular new volumes that has been mapped to the media agent. These two volumes has been mapped to the media agent. Let's say there appears a I drive, uh, there appears a, 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 a K drive, whatever it is. Okay, so it appears as a K drive. Now, what you want to do is you want to move the data of this H drive that you have. You want to move the data of this particular H drive into this I drive. You want to move the data of this H drive into this I drive, the I drive that is coming up from the new SAN that you have purchased. Now, how can you move that particular data from the one mount path to the another mount path? So for that, what you can do is you can go to your console. Okay. Now, let me show you that I am, I am already using H drive and G drive on this particular media agent as my mount path that you can see in the DL1 library, I have a G drive and the H drive already been used as the mount path. Okay. Now on this H drive, I have written few of the backup data, right click view content. I can see what backup jobs has been written in there. So you can see there's a one backup job that has been written. Now what you want to do is you want to move the data of this particular H drive you want to move the data of this particular H drive to the new I drive. So for that, what you can do is you can right click and you can say move mount path. Okay. Now, once you click on the move mount path in this one, you can select the media agent uh, where the new path has been mapped to. And then you can select the new path. Let's say the new path is I drive. I have taken an I drive on this uh, media agent. Okay. Let me say, uh, give it a, uh, a create a folder in there, new mount path. Okay, so just click on OK, select this folder and say OK. Now, once you have given this particular path, you can say OK again. Now, once you click on OK, the move operation, a uh, 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 move mount path operation will be initiated. You can see over here in this operation, you can see the move mount path will start where it is going to move the data from the H drive to the new I drive that we have uh, 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 mapped to the media agent. Now, guys, during this time, this DL1 library will be still available for the read and write operation, but this mount path, H mount path for which you are doing the move operation will not be available. Like if there is any new backup job coming up, uh, 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 will be written to this particular G drive. 
they all will be written to this particular G drive or the second mount path that you have or even if you have the other mount path then on those particular other mount path the uh, 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 new data will be written okay so you can see that in the job controller you can see the move operation has been completed so we'll just go to the view and we can just try to refresh in there in that particular I DL1 I just click on the refresh and now you can see on the I drive guys you can see that a new mount path has been added I new MP mount path has been added the H drive mount path has been removed so if you right click on this one and you want to you say view content you can see those particular job is being moved to this particular mount path the new mount path so guys this is how you can actually move the data from the one mount path to another mount path in case if you want to decommission the mount path okay if you want to decommission the existing mount path this is how simple it is uh just remember that downtime will be only for that particular mount path not for the entire library so that's it guys thank you so much